is water boiling an example of chemical change? So, water boiling chemical. So, with this question, I'm just going to say the answer right now is no. Uh, just because, as long as we're assuming that um, it's not like the water that's touching the surface of like the the pot, for example, if you're just trying to like boil water, uh, the bubbles produced, that is technically you could say it's a chemical change because what's happening there is probably like some form of redox reaction to where um, the water molecules, because as soon as they touch the surface of the pot, which is why when you notice it and you see things boiling, you can see the bubbles that start from the bottom and then they go up, okay? That's because the metal surface allows the redox reaction to occur where you're having the H2O, or typically like 2H2O specifically, it will break into the 2H2 plus O2, okay? But this can't really just occur by itself. You need uh, conditions to be met for it to do that. You can definitely heat up water, which is what water boiling is. It doesn't have to be with the bubbles. It's just that as you get to a certain temperature um, with enough energy, you're able to now uh, have these reactions occur. Okay? But this reaction here, this is chemical. Reason why? Because Chemical versus physical changes are when physical changes are when only intermolecular forces are broken. So you don't see bonds being broken, but in chemical bonds are broken. So you have H2O here, okay? And the only way for it to get to 2H2, these bonds have to be broken. And that is a chemical change right there. So in this question, there is a chance of a chemical reaction happening while the water is boiling but let's say you were heating it in a microwave for example that is still raising the temperature of the water um, it's always tricky because there's a difference I guess between water vapor and this okay this right here is a chemical change Water vapor, on the other hand, so after a while, you see that there's no bubbles, right? But you've boiled your water, and you see steam keep coming out of it, okay? There's no bubbles anymore. That It's kind of like the pot's now relaxed, cooling down a bit, but the water itself is hot. This steam right here, this is a physical change. Because it's now transitioning. It's being boiled. The boiling... Um, it's boiling temperature is like 100 degrees, so it's being changed from a liquid state to a gaseous state. And that isn't a breaking of the water molecules, more so the intermolecular forces that kind of help the water molecules stay close to each other. So for example, the hydrogen bond here, with enough heat, you can break this hydrogen bond to where now the water molecules can now drift apart from each other hence what this steam is. And that would be a physical change. So, to recap, is water boiling itself an example of chemical change? No. But can you note chemical changes in there, like this, for example? Yes, okay? And like I said, that one will be when you see the bubbles at the bottom and they float to the top. That would be typically this reaction seen here. If you're kind of just seeing like a hot cup of water and there's steam above it, that wouldn't be this here. It would be a physical change of water just changing states, okay? So, with that being said, let's see how we did. Um, they do mention that here, the bubbles were caused by decomposition of molecules into gas. This is what we have here, the 2H2 plus O2. That would be an example of a chemical change but the boiling water itself is an example of physical change because the water vapor still has a molecular structure as physical water, well, as liquid water. So this is correct. So now question number 10.